Hello, this is Bryce from IEEE at University of Texas Arlington. This video will cover starting a new project, adding libraries, placing parts, and running bias point analysis. The first thing we need to do is to create a new project. So select new project and give it a new name. Uh, ensure that piece by its analog is selected and save to any location that you want to and press OK. I usually use a uh, blank project because it's there's nothing in there. Now we need components to place onto our schematic. So go over to place part or press P. And if you're brand new to WorkAd piece uh, capture, you should have nothing in here, no libraries, no parts. So we need to add our first library. The first circuit we're gonna build is just resistors and a battery. So I'm going to go over to add library right here. And resistors, capacitors, and inductors are located in the analog library. Add that and do it again to add the battery. The battery is located in the sources. So type in source or look for source and then open. The source has clocks, current sources, batteries, sine waves, pulses, all that stuff. So the first thing we're going to add are the resistors. So select analog. You can type R or just scroll. Uh, analog library is pretty short. You can either double click it or press enter. You can press R on your keyboard to rotate the component. I'm gonna, per, I'm gonna put down four resistors. So one here, one here, one here, one like that. I'm gonna press escape to remove the resistor. Now I want to place a battery. Click on the source library. You can scroll down or type in VDC, but we're only going with DC. So I'm gonna place the battery on this side in escape. Uh, next, I need a ground. You can press G or go to this icon over here. For what you, we do at UTA for undergrads, the zero one will work just fine. Press OK and place it and escape. I'm now going to zoom in to have a little clear vision on my computer. All right, so there is our circuit. Now we need to connect all of the components with wire. So wire is already here, right here, or press W and then connect each part to it, each other side. Just like that. And you can move your components to where you need to, rotate it. That's all connected now. Now we're going to rename a component. So you could either double click on the whole component and we'll bring up everything here. We don't want to do that. Make it simple. So what we can do is double click on the actual name. I'm going to type this as VN. An underscore underline means that it was changed. I'm going to leave these the same. Don't need to change them. Now let's change the value. The values, you have to double click on the actual value. So I'm going to leave, I'll put 10K here. I'm going to put a 8.2K right there. I'll leave this as a 1K and I'll put a 3.3K right here. Now, if you want to put a mega ohm resistor, uh, ORCAD capture does not, is not K sensitive. So an M like that will mean milliohms. 
So in order to have a mega ohm resistor, you have to type meg, and that will create a mega ohm resistor. So I'm gonna go back to K here. The same can be done for the battery. I'm just gonna put a five volt, you can leave it as five, or you can type five B, it's just up to you. And now, our circuit is complete. You can move stuff around and change it however you see fit. Now, we need to simulate this circuit. How are we gonna get our numbers from the circuit? We need to create a new simulation profile right up here. Press on it. And I must name ours biased, bias test or bias point. Doesn't matter. It's just telling, I'm just naming it so that I know what simulation it's gonna be running on. So create. This pop-up should pop up. Here is the analysis type we're gonna mess with. Transient analysis is dealing with sine waves. DC sweep is saying if your battery is changing voltages and you wanna see what happens to the circuit. AC sweep is when your signal changes and say you wanna see a filter, how does it where does it drop off or where the 3 dB level at? You use that. And bias point is, I'm gonna make sure it starts. I can get, nothing's broken, nothing's too crazy. So I'm gonna hit bias point. You don't need to select anything over here. And hit okay. Now our circuit is ready to be tested. So hit the green run P-Spice button or the F11, because up here, F11, and run. P-Spice will open in the background. And because we're doing bias point, there will be nothing to look at. Because it didn't run any simulations on signals. So you can press V up here to display the voltages. And I for all the currents. You can move them around as you want. So you can see stuff if you need to. And for power. The voltages only show the voltage in each node and the current shows the current through each component. ORCAD capture doesn't call nodes, they call these net lists. So where every, wherever two components meet is a net list. Two or more, I'm sorry. Maybe here one net list here, another net list in here, and you get a grab. You will notice that we don't have a voltage reading across resistor. If you know your uh, voltage current relationship, you should be able to find the voltage drop across R1 and across R3 and R4 individually. Or just do math, like one, one, five volts minus 1.1 will give you the the voltage across there. So in this video, I showed you how to add libraries, how to place the parts, and how to set up a bias point simulation.